The eastern fox snake is the second largest snake in Ontario and is easily identified by its boldly contrasting color and pattern. The color ranges from yellowish or light brown with several large black or dark brown blotches along its back and sides. There is usually a faint dark band between the eyes and two others between the eye and the mouth, though these can disappear with age. The head can range from light brown to a coppery orange color. The belly is almost always yellowish and checkered with black spots. The scales on the back and sides of the eastern fox snake are weakly keeled. This means that a faint ridge is present along the middle of each scale. To help identification, look at the belly scale just in front of the vent on the underside of the snake. This scale is known as the anal plate, and it is divided in this species. Baby and juvenile fox snakes are much paler in color, but are boldly patterned like adults, with much more distinct head markings. Many Ontario snake species can be confused with the eastern fox snake. The Massasauga rattlesnake has a rattle on its blunt tail, a vertical pupil, and a triangular head. The milk snake has smooth scales with no keel and a single undivided anal plate. The eastern hognose snake has a very noticeable upturned, pointed snout. Baby gray rat snakes are best identified by more advanced techniques, such as counting the number of belly scales. 70% of the global distribution of the eastern fox snake occurs in Ontario, where there are two distinct populations, the Carolinian population in southern Ontario, and the population further north along the shores of Lake Huron, referred to as either the Georgian Bay or Great Lake St. Lawrence population. The eastern fox snake is non-venomous and completely harmless to people. Some older adults are quite reluctant to bite, but always beware that any animal may defend itself. Sometimes eastern fox snakes will vibrate their tail when they are disturbed. When vibrated in dry vegetation, the resulting sound often leads to this harmless snake being misidentified as a rattlesnake. Eastern fox snakes feed on small mammals, particularly meadow voles and deer mice. They will also eat bird eggs and nestlings. These snakes subdue their prey by constriction, using their strong body to tightly wrap around the prey item. However, smaller prey and eggs are swallowed without constriction. Though not considered an aquatic species, eastern fox snakes are able to move long distances over water and are equally capable climbers. Adult females usually lay from 6 to 29 eggs in rotted stumps or other vegetation or in shallow burrows. The lifespan in the wild is unknown, but it is likely to exceed 10 years as they have survived longer than this in captivity. Throughout the Ontario range, eastern fox snakes are found along vegetated shorelines, savannas, rock barrens and wetlands. This species will also utilize open woodland and forest edge habitat within its range. The species at risk in Ontario list designates the Carolinian and Georgian Bay populations as endangered and threatened respectively, whereas both populations are listed as endangered under the Federal Species at Risk Act. Habitat destruction and degradation have significantly impacted eastern fox snake abundance in Ontario. As natural habitat is destroyed for agricultural, residential and industrial development, fox snake populations quickly decline. As habitat is further altered by the ever-growing road network throughout the snake's range, road mortality has become a leading cause of decline. As snakes cross these roads or stop to bask in the sun, they are often hit and killed by drivers, and recent studies have shown that fox snakes are sometimes run over intentionally. Likely owing to the fox snake's beautiful coloration and friendly disposition, it is a desirable pet snake, and illegal collection from the wild is a serious threat. The fox snake has many predators, however, predators such as skunks, raccoons and foxes occur at unnaturally high numbers in Ontario due to abundant food and waste in areas where people live. These subsidized predators, including dogs and cats, can have a devastating impact on eastern fox snake numbers. Unfortunately, due to ignorance, fox snakes are indiscriminately killed. The buzzing tail and reddish head have caused many fox snakes to be killed by uninformed people believing them to be rattlesnakes or even copperheads, a venomous snake species that doesn't even occur in Ontario. There are ways that you can help the eastern fox snake in Ontario. Watch for traffic signs that indicate snake habitat. These signs are placed in areas where snakes are frequently seen crossing the road or using it to bask in the sun. Always be mindful of what's on the road, especially during the warmer months. If you are confident in your identification skills and are comfortable doing so, you can assist an eastern fox snake from the road. Usually just approaching a snake will cause it to dart off the road quickly. However, if the snake decides to stay put, you can pick it up and gently carry it to safety. You can also use a stick or other object to help the snake from the road. Perhaps the best way to help eastern fox snakes is to educate others about them. These snakes are so often killed simply due to ignorance. Explain to people that no snake should be killed out of fear. Tell others how harmless and inoffensive eastern fox snakes really are, and emphasize that they play an extremely important role in our ecosystem due to their rodent eating habits. If you are interested in the conservation of this species, get involved by contacting organizations working with eastern fox snakes in the wild. A good place to start is by visiting provincial or federal parks to inquire about eastern fox snakes in Ontario. 
there may be opportunities for you to help save this beautiful and misunderstood animal.